Jerry Kelly, the importance of Sinn Féin being here today, supporting the Bala Murphy families, the McGurk families, and the significance of the visit to St. Patrick's Chapel. Well, I think uh, significance is a continuation of the reconciliation process which these three days, I think, have painted up. Uh, that is both Republicans, indeed at a high level, and uh, the Prince Charles uh, talking about reconciliation. And reconciliation is difficult. You know, we've supported the families, the Murphy families, for 40 years. We've supported the, the McGurk uh, bombing families. We've supported the New Lodge Six, Peter McBride, and North Belfast. Uh, it's, I think it's important actually that they chose to Prince Charles chose to go to St Patrick's uh, Chapel because there's an issue of respect here as well, and I think that sounds out a very positive, uh, positive view. But we also have to be quite sensitive to the fact that you know grief is very personal. People are still grieving. Part of that grieving process is to find out truth and defend out and to have justice. And I think all of those things are, are important. So we are here to support that. But we are also speaking as a Republican. We're also in the uh, chapel. Um, uh, shaking hands with uh, Prince Charles. We know that he was uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Parachute Regiment. We know that there is suffering. But he himself said in Sligo that it was the suffering that he faced in the loss of someone close to him that made him realise the suffering right across the board. And I think Republicans have been saying that for a very long time, that in, in understanding the suffering, that relatives, when they lost loved ones, they get an understanding of suffering right across. And when you have conflicts and you have wars, you will always have a victims and that's that's the, the difficult uh, legacy that we, we are trying to deal with and I think we've dealt with it in the Stormont House uh, Agreement. Uh, at least we have the architecture for truth recovery and for justice and for moving that ahead. I'm here on behalf of our family. I was baptised at St Patrick's Chapel. My grandfather was one of 15 men, women and children who were murdered in this area in McCurk's Bar and every single one of them were buried from St Patrick's Chapel. So it's a very emotional day for me and for my family. I can't speak for the other families. I'm a Sinn Féin activist as well as being the, 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 the grandson of Philip Gary, who was 73 years of age. So I, I understand what's happened today. And there's 15 families who were murdered in McGurk's. So you've got 15 opinions. Each family has its own opinion about Prince Charles, about reconciliation. But I believe we're doing the right thing. What is happening today has to be done. I understand reconciliation, but if reconciliation is to mean anything, it's about giving people peace, peace of mind. Our family's in turmoil. My father is still in turmoil trying to find the truth or the, the, the truth to be told about what happened in McGurk's, what happened in the Ball of Murphy, what happened in Spring Hill and in the New Lodge and what happened in Derry. So I understand that. I agree with, with the whole concept of reconciliation but it has to have substance. It has to have meaning for us, for our families and that's why I believe as well as reconciliation, we need truth, we need justice, we need acknowledgement by the British state and by for what for what they have done in our country. Martin McGuinness, what did you make of this visit? Well, I think overall uh, the visit has been uh, very important in relation to the what I think is an essential step in the peace process, that of reconciliation. And as I said in, in Galway, uh, peacemaking is very difficult. But if we're serious about peace and reconciliation, I, I think we all have to recognise that there is a need to rise above old enmities. That's absolutely essential. And, you know, there's a lot of focus in, in the course of uh, this visit on the past. But I think the visit also focuses everybody on the need to move forward to a better future. And Prince Charles has personally suffered as a result of our past, as has the uh, Maxwell family and the Natchbull family, as have the families of Bally Murphy and the families of those who were murdered on the streets of Derry on Bloody Sunday and in other parts of the north. But if we are to move forward to build a better future for our children, who are the most important people in all of this, then I think we do have to rise above old entities and we have to, uh, whenever people make the effort to be part of a reconciliation process, then I think we have to welcome that.